Ellen DeGeneres, once known for her affable personality and infectious on-screen presence, has seen massive damage to her popularity over the years. Reports of toxic work ethic, discrimination, and sexual harassment have tarnished the feel-good talk show host's facade of niceness. Her talk show's reputation as a dreamland where celebrities become our closest friends, donations change lives, and a lot of gawky dancing takes place has contributed significantly to her decline. Ellen, whose public image has been built on being nice, is reportedly not as nice in person. Former cast members of The Ellen DeGeneres Show, which ran for over 19 seasons, witnessed its employees opening up about the harrowing experiences of working with their former boss. The chatter around her demeanor seemed to rope in some mixed reactions, where a few celebrities sided with Ellen while some employees did not flinch from their stand. The show, which has every segment of itself under Ellen's tight scrutiny, was heavily silent on the sexual harassment complaints by its lower-level employees. One ex-employee said head writer and executive producer Kevin Lehman asked him if he could give him a hand job or perform oral sex in a bathroom at a company party in 2013. Another said they separately saw Lehman grab a production assistant's penis. As many as 36 former employees, many of whom independently corroborated incidents of harassment, sexual misconduct, and assault from top producers like Lehman, have chosen to hide their identities out of fear of retribution. Five former employees said executive producer Ed Glavin touched them in a way that made them uncomfortable by rubbing their shoulders and back, as well as placing his hand around their lower waist. The producer had a reputation for being handsy with women, especially in the control room, and managed the team through fear and intimidation, claimed a former employee. She knows shit goes on, but also she doesn't want to hear it, said an ex-employee accusing Ellen of turning a blind eye to the sexual harassment complaints as the show is a steady cash cow. It is also noted that somebody who is so heavily involved in the creative aspects of the show cannot turn deaf to the whispers that take place every now and then. DeGeneres apologized in a letter to her staff after the allegations. Obviously, something changed, and I'm disappointed to learn that this has not been the case. And for that, I am sorry. Anyone who knows me knows it's the opposite of what I believe and what I hoped for our show. Variety reported that various crew members from Ellen's show were frustrated by a lack of communication and transparency when it came to getting paid. The show was being done remotely, and only four core crew members, according to Variety sources, were retained. Many staffers saw a drastic pay reduction without any clear communication and were surprised to see the show being filmed remotely from her home. On her show, Ellen frequently demonstrates her generosity by giving money that significantly improves the lives of others. This is a contrast to her off-screen personality when it comes to keeping her employees unsatisfied monetarily and putting them in the dark about their pay reductions during a pandemic. Ellen went on to make things worse by tweeting on April 9th that being under quarantine was similar to being in jail. The comparison was criticized for coming from a privileged position, being improper, and lacking self-awareness. Over the years, Ellen has been accused of being rude to her guests, while also violating their privacy. An interview with actress Dakota Johnson that started on a rather friendly note turned into an awkward watch. Ellen questioned Dakota about why she didn't invite her to her 30th birthday celebrations. Dakota, who maintained her cool throughout the interview, answered in her own sweet way. During Mariah Carey's interview with the talk show host in 2008, Ellen violated the singer's privacy by asking if she was pregnant. After refusing to answer the question, the host whipped out champagne to see if Mariah would drink any alcohol. Shortly after the interview, Mariah Carey ended up having a miscarriage. The singer was obviously just not ready to discuss her pregnancy. In 2015, Ellen DeGeneres interviewed Justin Bieber on her show, only to make the pop singer feel embarrassed. The talk show host put up photos from Justin's Bora Bora trip, where paparazzi released his nude photos. Ellen then proceeded to press Justin about the girl in the photo. Countless incidents of guests feeling violated and disrespected in the 19 years of the show's running have emerged. Months later, the show lost many advertisers and struggled to book A-list celebrities while suffering a dip in ratings during what is usually the busiest time of year. In her interview with The Hollywood Reporter, DeGeneres said she had been contemplating leaving the show for several years, but was convinced to stay on. But then, reports of misconduct started emerging. And, unfortunately, I learned that through the press. In the wake of the accusations against Ellen and the show, celebrities like Katy Perry and Ashton Kutcher defended the host by saying they were never treated poorly or observed any mistreatment. While some celebrity guests, including Brad Garrett and Leah Thompson, 
said that they were treated poorly on the show and weren't surprised at all by the ex-employees' stories. Do you think Ellen was unaware of what went on on the sets? Or did she really turn a blind eye to her employees? Let us know in the comments.